Hey, this is Jalen. Welcome back to GM Scale Model Art. Um, I am just going to show you some builds that I have done over the past several months over at HLI. Uh, the first one being the speed build that I just did for the end of the year group build on Discord. Uh, thanks to Chris. Okay. Um, so let's get to it. All right, I decided to jump in on this because my Romulan Bird of Prey um, ended up in the purple bath. And uh, Kenny was posting about his Stormtrooper as a joke. But I kind of took it seriously. And I was like, you know, I, I could pull it off doing something like this with the Bandai kits. Um, I did paint it. Not everything. You, you know, just mostly detail painting. Um, I was expecting to have to do more with this. I, I was going to use it for the Star Wars group build. But this really only took me about two days. Um, all I really did was I, I built it. Um, added decals, and then I detail painted it and chipped, hand chipped it, uh, which was my first attempt uh, with silver. Uh, actually, it was uh, Vallejo steel model air. It's pretty good stuff, really nice and easy to airbrush. And then I flat coated it and uh, used some future for his antenna and for his visor. Um, and I am way more than pleased with how he came out. I really couldn't be happier. I always used to think, like, oh, these things aren't really kits. They're like Legos with how they go together. But the fact that you can greatly increase their detail by painting them up even just a little bit makes them worth it. I mean, I'm, I'm glad I'm not hugely into Star Wars. Otherwise, I would go nuts and get all of these. Um, I don't really like my builds to take two days. I like them to take two months. It's a lot cheaper that way. But Boba is awesome. Up next, Dr. McCoy. And here's the good doctor. I received him uh, from Kenny from the Christmas giveaway from last year. It is a Blackheart model bust. Um... I've only ever painted one figure before, and that was the Mr. Spock with the little three-headed snake. So I wasn't really sure what I was doing. I watched a uh, video on YouTube from Sideshow Models, as well as a... or Collectibles, as well as a bunch of other tutorials, and got something pretty passable. Um, he was looking too orange at first, so I used a bunch of sand, an Iraqi sand um to blot him down most of his face is uh games color uh blush as well or rosy blush um vallejos and i think some scale 75 yeah for as far as badge for the gold uh the body is done with craft paint as well as his hair which i used a couple different colors on it doesn't show up very well here but I know he does, DeForest had some shiny hair, so I added some future back to it after I had dulled him down. And I'm really happy with the way the eyes came out. Because those can be a tricky thing from what I hear. Up next, A10 Warthog. Just realized I was filming it <laughs> the wrong way. Alright, um, I am showing this one off because I did not have... I lost the video for, for most of uh, my build throughout this because this was for the uh, Hobby Link International 2021 Braille Scale Group Build. Uh, it is an A10 Warthog using the Academy Kit in 172nd scale, and I used the uh, Photo Etch from, for the Revell and Italeri Kit from Ed Edward, and I made up my own base. Um, using a bunch of craft paints, some cork board on a on a wood uh, canvas. Uh, this was a really fun build. It was difficult having to scribe lines and being my first playing kit since a teenager. But the A10 was always a favorite of me. So when I saw this, after just buying it, I knew I had to do this even though planes aren't my normal thing. So just a quick look around.
That was pretty nice detail. The photo etch just needed uh, some slight modifications. The cockpit is gorgeous. You can't really see in there. But there's some nice stuff going on. I'll try to get in there. Where are we? There we go. Oh, you can actually sort of make it out. But the, the pre-painted photo etch is gorgeous. I love the paint scheme for this. All right. Until next time, be strong.